Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today's video is on this guy, the bass plate, bass drum pedal dock. Our good friends at Big Bang Distribution have brought us this really cool accessory for your kick drum. Let me show it to you. It's this guy right here. I already have it installed on this beautiful Mapex Saturn kick drum right here, and what it does is it lifts up your kick drum by about an inch, maybe two, inch and a half or so, let your drum breathe a little bit more, takes all the stress off the kick drum hoop when you attach your pedal to it, and then you attach your pedal to this, making it real easy to use. Another thing that's cool about this is the docking plate right here where you attach your kick drum pedal is flat, so you can move your kick drum pedal back and forth wherever you want so the beater hits exactly in the center of the drum every time. Now I have a double kick drum pedal by Yamaha down here, and I'm only using a single pedal of it. I took the other pedal off. Now normally, with a double pedal, you take one of the beaters off, you place it on your kick drum hoop, the beater's gonna be slightly off center. With the pedal dock here, you can move it left or right to get the beater in the center every time. It's kinda cool. The base plate pedal dock comes in two sizes for a 20 inch kick drum and a 22 inch kick drum. I have the 22 inch version here, and it's super easy to install. So I'm gonna grab this Ludwig kick drum back here and show you how it's done. First thing you do is turn your kick drum like this with the batter side facing up. It's a lot easier to install like this. Inside the box, they do supply four screws that you may need to use or may not, depending on the length of the screws that come off of your lug of your particular drum. The tools you're gonna need are your drum key, a Phillips screwdriver, and of course, the base plate. Let's do it. One thing I do want to point out here is your kick drum hoop. You could save your kick drum hoop from years of wear and tear by using the base plate. After so many years of putting your kick drum pedal on there and squeezing it down on the wood, it crunches it, it ruins it. So the base plate is a really cool accessory to keep your hoop in good condition. All right, so take the head off, place it to the side. What you're gonna do is take off the two lugs that are closest to where you attach the kick drum pedal. Let's do that right now. One thing to show you here, the screws that came off this Ludwig drum are really short, so I did grab the screws that came out of the base plate box. These are much longer, and it's gonna make it much easier for us to install this. Turn the kick drum around here for you so you can see the two lugs that I took off right here. And when you put the base plate on, line up the holes with whatever slots will work. So I'm gonna use the two inner slots here, put the lugs on, tighten her down, and we're good to go. One quick thing to point out after doing this a couple of times, if you push the base plate all the way back as far as it'll go, it'll make the flat part that you're gonna attach your pedal to even with the kick drum hoop. Let me show you what it looks like. See how it looks even with the hoop and the bottom of the plate? That's what we're looking for. Okay, the base plate's installed. I'm gonna put the head and the hoop back on. We're ready to rock. Voila, the install's done. Turn your kick drum over, install your pedal, and make some music. And there you go, the bass plate, bass drum pedal dock, a very cool accessory for your kick drum. If you want any more information about this particular accessory, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching. I'm gonna play some more drums. See you later, everybody. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.